Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to another YouTube video on my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to do our first draw along, draw with me session. And I would thought, yeah, let's just draw a page, fill this page up and let's see how long this is going to take. I have no idea. I will um, record that and leave that real time. So you can draw along, grab your sketchbook or just grab a tea, whatever you like. And yeah. Uh, feel free to join. So usually I would always advise if you have trouble on thinking about what you want to draw or how you're going to start, the first most important thing is that you are relaxed. Try to calm yourself down, try to turn off your phone, take some relaxing music and yeah just calm your mind because you cannot be creative if you are not calm. All right? Yeah, I can say that I like to look at a lot of different images, references before just to get a topic in. Um, and as mentioned, I already started the sketchbook here. So sometimes I try stuff like different faces, different shapes. Sometimes I just start with a page like this where I start with completely nonsense doodle to warm up, to free myself um, from any conventions, just to make sure, like I said, my mind is as calm as possible. Okay. So what are we going to draw? So I will probably quiet down also a lot. And I'm not used to... In fact, this is a premiere here. Because <laughs> I'm usually not... I'm usually not uh, recording my sketchbook drawings. And I don't have the luxury of Photoshop and Control Z. So I like to start drawing very small. I don't go too much into detail with anything. I just think about a pose or something. I definitely learned already is that brush pen is way faster, way more efficient than pencil because you don't erase and you don't spend so much time on redoing things, which is great. But it's also very daunting because yeah, if you know you can't erase, it uh, comes a bit more trickier if you used to erase stuff. Just start with a drawing, just 
not thinking about if it's a good drawing, a bad drawing, just draw. So I'm just starting small is good, so you can really have no much room to detail anything. If you do a mistake, no one cares. It's your sketchbook, it's your safety place. You can do whatever you like to do. Just focus on drawing getting your creativity going. So when it comes to the part of like really drawing something with a bigger purpose, Just fill the page with the things which are in your head.
just yeah just relax and enjoy that you have time to draw that you have this this free time so to speak and i need to say for me it became harder and harder to to actually have time for just drawing and having a quiet moment where I can focus and relax. I guess that's quite a normal process if you <laughs> become an adult, so to speak. But still, if you're an artist and you have this burning desire, this passion to draw every moment of the day and this becomes super difficult for you Need a bit more ink here, come on. There you go. really fascinated by the brush pen such a dedicated medium easy to mess up but also feels so natural and fluent at the same time But still, I'm a lot in the process of learning brush pen as medium. Doing a lot of mistakes, which is good because it means I learn. I'm actually surprised that I'm not drawing pirates today because I always do pirates. <clears throat> What's your favorite topic to draw? Maybe if you have some recommendations, I'm very happy and open to topics to draw, to sketch.
Yep, yep, yep. Ink is really a great medium to practice mark making and yeah, decision making to decide, okay, what do you want to show? What do you want to indicate? What do you need to show a certain texture base? If you wonder what I draw, I basically just draw things um, from my head, uh, so from the imagination, so to speak, but also things I've drawn the last couple of days. 
So I draw something and if I'm curious if I drew it correctly or if it looks all right or something looks weird, then I just grab a reference and make myself to try to check and see if um, what it is that looks weird or why does it look weird, you know? And then while you do that, you do certain observations like how folds are working, how, um, for example, like that a lot of women have, so Caucasian women have, um, or not only Caucasian women actually, um, have baby hair. So these very small little hairs here on the forehead, which is kind of cute. Also certain shapes you observe and patterns, especially patterns, because you see that certain things are always have the same pattern in certain positions. And um, the human brain is extremely good in observing patterns. So if you can use that to your advantage to a better craftsman then that's that's kind of cool no I'm really curious if you are if you draw along or if you just watch um, if you draw I would be really would like to know what are you drawing or at least if you draw because I might need some more ideas to draw in the future. I guess there is so much to draw also. This world is so full with crazy cool stuff to draw. Yeah. But oh, I'm so happy that I started with this brush pen challenge on myself because I already learned so much and it's so cool to push yourself outside of the comfort zone from time to time especially when you're in a kind of creative routine and as a professional you are really so it makes things exciting again But yeah, the most important stuff here is really um, draw every day and try to try to challenge yourself. But sometimes you don't need to challenge yourself. Sometimes it's just that you drew this day because you will have not so good days. You will have very good days. And when you have good days, you're happy. When you have not so good days, just get over with them and Draw again on the next day. Sometimes I draw the same stuff over and over. To manifest poses and patterns and everything. Sometimes an idea comes out of that. 
That's why it's so important that you draw every day, even if you have a bad day, because you never know what comes out, what is the result, you know? Maybe you will have a breakthrough and you're not even realizing it. And then the next day it looked like, oh, that was actually not too bad. And again, if you're not comfortable enough drawing big, draw small first. Just draw the same thing again, if you're not happy with it. Draw it fast or draw something else. Draw something similar. Challenge yourself with every drawing you do. Because at the end it's not about becoming the best. It's about becoming or just improving yourself as an individual every day a little bit, you know? We not want to get worse, we not they want to stay the same, we want to just get a little bit better every day. Maybe you have a feeling in your head, <clears throat> you feel suspicious, you feel confused. Try to express this in a drawing. See what comes out of this, you know, so... Never know. Just relax. I draw figures, sometimes I try to draw a full character, but sometimes I also just draw stuff, I don't know, things I've seen or drawn yesterday, combining stuff. Draw 
trade it doesn't matter what it is. Could be a button you should press. the opening for the button inside here are all cables and stuff somebody's repairing that it's your button to happiness press me I don't know, maybe also... Sometimes it's cool to switch stuff up. Things you maybe have drawn before, I don't know. But it doesn't have to be perfectly exact. So my camera has tons of round buttons, like really a lot of buttons. For when I got the camera first, I was like, wow, this camera has so many buttons <laughs> compared to my old one. And then this has this cool feature that you can get out the screen and I don't see my camera right now so it's it's above me but I only see the lens from below so I don't see this back side here, I only see this here in the front. But at the end it's uh, it's just basic perspective drawing. Again, I don't draw it too large, I draw it small because I have a great overview of things. And if it's perfect or not, who cares about that? It's just about getting the roll. Or rolling. Actually, is there an H on Rode? Because there's, it's written here. Let me check. Ah, no, it's without an H, so it's R O D E. This video is sponsored by me. <laughs> there is a guy sitting here. Trying to give advice about drawing. In his room. Draws in a sketchbook. Camera above, the light behind. Yep, yep, yep. Just have fun with the stuff you do. And then everything else do not matter. Okay. So yeah, that's... That's my process of filling a book like this, a page, not a book, a page like this. I need to say I already started um, with, the, with this book and I'm already, I would say 20 pages in or so. 
Um, because of the brush pen, it is super, super fast. It is super efficient. It's super cool because you can really focus here on the more important stuff. The things that um, if you condense everything down, you know, so. That's just, yeah, it's just really, really cool to do. And you can do this also very fast. You can speed up stuff very quick. And I would also say sometimes just change the tempo of your stuff because you focus on the necessary part of, of, of the things you want to draw. That's again something I really learned with this 10 second challenge. Oh no, he's talking about it again. You know, she's always repeating herself. I know, I know. But that's true. It's, I wouldn't repeat it if it wouldn't be really a valuable thing for you. learning stuff. That's also what I mean by if you repeat things, you draw again. It's about patterns you get in your head, like an eyelid. Where is the fault? How do you show someone who's older? What are the patterns the face has, like little wrinkles here? Um, yeah, so much stuff. Hmm. Maybe it's a man, he has very strong faults. I always love this one here. This is a cool one. And then of course, what is even better than that, a beard. Because I can do the beard very quick. And I don't have to be so precise because beard can be super messy. Give him a big beard here. And then it's about the silhouette shape and it's about rhythm. And I'm having fun with that. He's an old man, which means his ear is already bigger than average. Because he's old. Maybe let's draw a little bit more and then call it a page. Again, and by this now I'm so relaxed already. I don't worry about doing mistakes or anything anymore. I'm just, I'm just letting it flow. And it can be a day where I just draw faces, I just draw a couple poses, totally fine, nothing against that. I had a face where I was always drawing statues, because I loved how much volume they had and how expressive they were. Thank you. 
looking after her. She's like, what? He's like, nothing. Just casually staring at you. Can you hear the rain? Don't even have to think while I'm doing this. Just following the flow. Looks a bit like Zeus or some some god. A lot of beard and hair. Very Greek. He's like, obey me. lines so just giving it a little bit more form a bit more volume but not too much I'm still because I'm still learning with that here that brush pen and I feel like sometimes when you grab the brush uh, the grab the brush grab the brush too tight for a while then but you, you get super um, stiff in the hand and then you have to re-stretch the hand again and then go further away with the hand. say she's like no you're old that's what you are old and hairy and not scary
Do you also have it that you, when you start drawing, that you cannot stop anymore? Oh, this is so addictive. I remember when I was starting with drawing, then oh, hey, it was really, really crazy. I was at my job. I was working in a restaurant. And then people came in. <laughs> I didn't realize that new customers came in. I was standing there and drawing. I also once missed. When I was working in a bakery. I had night shifts, so I had to go there at night. So in the morning. And the bus was only coming every hour and I had to get up at two and I got to the bus station and then I was drawing standing, had music in my ear and the bus came stand in front of me. I didn't realize that the bus was there and then the bus left and in that moment the bus left, I was like, oh damn, I was completely focused in my drawing, <laughs> even though I was drawing standing, but also it was a little bit, had to do with my the time of time of day, so to speak. I think that was a very successful full hour of drawing. And I hope you could draw a little bit yourself. Um, or at least I could motivate you to draw. And if so, Please give the video a thumbs up so more people see it and get inspired. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I also have Instagram, it's just my name. Uh, there's also a button on the YouTube banner. And besides that, I wish you all a wonderful day, happy drawing, and I hope you all will create a successful drawing routine for yourself. And if you like this more chill session here with me drawing, let me know, because then I will just make more videos like this. Okay? Alright everyone, I cannot stop, it's so much fun. Alright, thanks for joining, have a good one, see you soon, ciao ciao!